I have to deal with a lot of misogyny, a lot of misogyny, especially when um, men know I'm trans. I mean, just the other day I was walking down the street and this guy said, oh, looking good. I said, thank you. And then he drove up to me again and said, can I get your number? And I said, no. And then he said to me, uh, I just wanted to feel your tits, that's all, and then drove off. And I was so taken back, I was so shocked. I just saw how rude. You know, sometimes men, when they know you're trans, you're an easy target. You're not only an easy target, but you're seen as this sexual deviant that will engage in some sort of fornication, just like that. You're gonna get stared at. Public transport seems to be the worst. Maybe it's because you're in like a small metal tube. Um, you get people taking pictures of you on their phones and it's never as subtle as they think it is. You're trying your best. You know, you're not hurting anyone. You know, I think it, especially in those early days, it's tough. You know, I still had short hair and you know, you, you try with the makeup and you try with the clothes, but you know that you're po probably gonna get clocked as trans. And your first thought, because of everything we know and everything we read, is, is this it? Are the, is this the group of men that are gonna kill me or batter me or kick my head in? Because we're a minority group, sometimes we're seen as like a, something that should be kept a secret. And I've lost track of how many men have said I couldn't be seen with you in public. Naomi was a black Muslim transgender woman. I think she fell through lots of cracks. I don't think there was a lot of people looking out for her. I don't think there was anybody protecting her or making sure she was in a taxi. And that makes me really, really sad. Dating as a trans person or a love in general as a trans person is a, is a complete mind. Um, because you are instantly sexualized. And the reason that that happens is, um, is that if people seek you out for being trans, it's because you physically are something that they want, physically. They don't seek you out thinking, I'd really like to meet somebody that's got a really good sense of humor. They seek you out for a trans physicalness trans body, that's what they want. When I heard of Naomi, I was, I was shocked, like shocked of um, the circumstance seeming so American to me. And I'd met her, I had met her out. And it was really sad. And, you're, and you are left thinking, I've been to hotels with guys. I've had men in my house. I've gone to men's houses because I'm a 20-something in London having a laugh. But you are putting yourself in the danger of the strength of whoever you're, you're seeing. And it does make you instantly go like, oh my God. And then the next time you go to someone's house or someone comes to yours or something, you think, is it going to be me? Could it, could it be me? Yeah, it could be me. It could be any of us. Mm -hmm.